Overt Fats wanted to do a video on this and share my perspective on things. I think I agree with some people and then I disagree with others and I kind of have my own thoughts on how it all works and wanted to share that with you guys. So an Overt Fat, for the context of this video, is a raw food that derives most of its calories from fats, so mainly nuts, seeds, avocados, and I guess coconut meat. So my experience with them, um, I'll go into that, and then I'll talk about sort of the 80-10-10 ratios and how it all fits into that, and uh, kind of share my insights of some of the things I've seen. Because I guess um, in some of the community, I've heard people say, or you know, in person or on the internet, like, oh, I was good this week, like I didn't have any avocados. Or like, oh, this recipe was naughty because I, I had avocados in it, or this had sunflower seeds or pumpkin seeds, and I don't do that all the time. And it's like, I think there's this like, kind of like fat phobia, especially when Durian Riders is saying, oh, the fat you eat, the fat you wear, and you know, you got to carb, 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 carb. And I agree with that, but I think that it gets taken to a certain level of extreme where people think that like, the minimum amount of fat like that you can possibly get away with is optimal. And from what I've seen and experienced myself, I don't think that that's optimal. I think that, you know, 95-5 is different than 80-10-10, and personally I feel better on 80-10-10, and I don't think people should have this orthorexic attitude of like, oh, I ate an avocado today. I'm so terrible. It's, it's really stupid, because a lot of these people who are struggling with their weight, it's like the overt fats are not the problem. That you, it's not because you had an avocado last week that you're still not at your goal weight. It's because probably you're not sleeping consistently. And you're definitely not fucking exercising consistently. I don't know how many people of this lifestyle like think that they could like get away with not exercising or just lie to themselves about how much they actually exercise, which is a totally different video topic. But um, for me personally, I don't keep track of like how many calories of fat I eat. I think on my days when I eat a lot, like when I'm like, oh, I had like two whole avocados today, my fat percentage might get up to like 15%. And that's on a day of like eating a lot of fat. And I have days, sometimes, I don't know, four, five, six days in a row where I don't eat any overt fats. And then I have days where I eat two or three avocados or like a whole bunch of nuts and seeds and whatever. And I don't really do the math. I'm not scared of it. And I, like, when my body wants it, I'll be hungry for it. And when my body doesn't want it, I won't eat it. And I think that one thing I've noticed is when you, the key thing here is when you eat these overt fats, you don't want to use any kind of seasoning or spices because they're going to throw off your sense of like satiation and have I had enough. Because I will make like a, something like a hygienic guacamole, which has got like, you know, um, tomato, avocado, cilantro, parsley, and maybe like cumin and paprika. And I don't even know if that's hygienic or not, like whatever. Maybe some jalapeno. Um... And I'll eat some and I'm like, oh, I really wanted guacamole. Like, this is so good. This is so good. And then I'll eat maybe some, you know, a third of it, half of it, two thirds of it, and all of a sudden I'll be done. Like, that's it. It's no, like, all of a sudden, it'll no longer appeal to me. It's like, take this away from me. I don't want it anymore. Like, that satiation of enough fat just kicks in. But if you have salt in there or something like that, like, I remember this summer, like, putting this Himalayan sea salt in an avocado and eating it. I mean, like, oh, I'm kind of done with it, but, like, the salt's so good, like, I'm just going to keep eating. And that can really, like, throw off your sense of, like, you know, your body's sense of when it's had too much fat. So I think that's really important to, like, you know, you can have the fat, but don't use the seasonings because they'll throw off when you think you've had enough. And I think that's where a lot of, like, the high-fat gourmet people run into problems because they use so many spices and seasonings and everything, like, their body gets thrown off the sense of, like, when it's satiated because it just wants more of the seasoning. And so I think that if you just don't season it, you can develop your intuition of when you've had enough. And I don't really think there's a thing, such a thing as eating too much fat because your body will say, hey, I don't want this anymore. It's, it's like you won't feel sick or anything, but all of a sudden it just won't appeal. That's been my experience. And I think that, you know, there's a lot of applications to healthy fats. And I think a lot of, you know, a lot of the paleo community touts this because they're like, fat, 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 don't eat carbs, fat, 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 fat. And, you know, 
so they know a lot of the things with like the omega threes being good for brain function. The myelin sheaths on the nerve fibers is like totally important because if your nerve system isn't functioning, then your brain isn't you know channeling its innate intelligence to instruct the body of like you know how to heal itself, and then you're just winging it from there if that's the case. So there's a lot of um, benefits to healthy fats, but like you don't want to go overboard, and I don't think you really can if you're not using if you're not using seasoning. So I think like stay on that 80 10 10. You'll have some days where you'll have more fat than others, and it's really a ratio that you shoot for the entire month of the entire year, not in a single day. So eat overt fats if you want overt fats. Yesterday I had like a ton of guacamole and like a bunch of sunflower seeds, and I think as long as they're whole food fats. You're fine. Like if I have oil, I wake up the next day and I'm like feeling hungover and crappy, and it's not good. But um, so when I say like I eat a fair amount of over fats, I eat as much over fats as I want, which isn't very much because like once I've had enough, I don't want any more. And so just to like show you, like I'm lean, lean, you know, <laughs> like I eat a lot of overt fats, and I'm not like doing any drugs or anything like that. It's like, I just work out consistently, which so many people on the 80 10, 10 diet don't do. Um, it's not like you have to work out super intense or do P90X every day. I just go to the gym three times a week and I run three times a week and I play and I have energy and it's easy because I'm not like calorie restrictor or anything like that. I see so many people like freaking out about like, oh, I had an avocado. Blah, 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 but oh, I haven't started my exercise plan yet, or like, oh, I didn't feel good enough to go to the gym today, or oh, I didn't have time to like exercise. Like, if you want to like get down to a healthy weight and like have a good looking body, like, you gotta exercise. It's not hard, but like, don't obsess over stupid crap of like, oh, I had 12%, I have too many avocados this week, and that's why I'm, I'm bloated and I'm, I'm fat and all this. No! No, don't kid yourself. There's no way you can overdo fat on 8, 10, 10. If you, don't, if you don't season it, you won't ever like go overboard on it. That's the main lesson here. So stop freaking out about fat. Um, if you guys have had similar experiences or different experiences, like let me know. I'm just curious to hear this. This is just the conclusions I've arrived to after about two and a half years of doing this. So I hope you got something out of that. And uh, see you guys next video.